Oh man, game three of the NBA Finals is going down. Eh, whatever, I gotta hurry up and make this video. Uh, Slippery Slope is here, and this is the third video in the C Sharp series, and I am glad to make it, so don't worry, you're not making me sad. Uh, and in this one, uh, we are going to create another project, and we're going to go over events briefly, and making message boxes appear on screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit New Project because we didn't save our last one. And we're going to go to Windows Forms Application. And you could call this whatever. You could call it one. You could call it two. I didn't. If you did save the last one, then you want to just go ahead and call it two or call it, you could call it Patty Cakes if you want. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to call it one. Um, and yeah, let's hit OK. And once your thing loads, lo and behold, you have a form. Yay! All right, so what I'm going to do, and you don't have to do it this way, but I want to put a label on the form just because, I don't know, it just feels like the right thing to do. And uh, I'm going to go to text. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I'm going to put in bet, bet you'll never click this in a hundred years. So I'm kind of egging on the user here, and I'm saying, hey, I bet you'll never click this in a in hundred years. And you're like, what are you talking about? Click what? Well, we're going to use a button. So I just double clicked, so it appeared right here. And let's change the text of button one to don't click me. All right. And we're going to want to make this a little bit bigger so that me sticks out. Just like that. Okay, I got a button, not a label. And again, we don't even need this label. I just put it in because it's funny to me. And um, we're going to want to do some coding. So let's double click this button right here. And then form1.cs pops right up. And it's like, okay, buddy, what do you want to do? Well, you see, we have this private void button one click uh, object center event RG. Well, let's not go over what all of that means right now. But we got these two squiggly brackets here. And what we're going to type in here is what happens when the user clicks button one. The click would be the event, and button one would be our control. So I am going to have notice that as I type up, this box comes up and has like all of these answers. This is IntelliSense, and it is pretty groovy because especially if you remember where the options are, instead of typing up everything all the time, you can pick your own option, hit enter, whatever. Um, well, I want to use message box, so I'm going to click that, hit enter, and boom, we have message box. What is message box? Get ready for this one. It's a message box. And what do we want this message box to do? Well, we want it to show on screen. So I'm going to type up a period, and then I'm going to type up show. And notice that uh, uh, Visual Basic wanted to, uh, I just called this Visual Basic because I've used .NET and Visual Studio and Visual Basic before. Visual Basic is another language, and I'm goofy to say Visual Basic. But um, IntelliSense popped up again, and it has equals, reference equals, and show. Well, I'm going to click show because what I want to do right now, hit enter is I want this message box to show and I'm going to put in a couple parentheses and a semicolon. A semicolon just means we're done with this line, we're going to terminate and say that this line is over. So I've got two quotations here, two double quotations rather, and in here I'm going to put now you have to make me a sandwich. So that is the user's penalty for clicking the button. And I'm going to put in a comma. And after that comma, um, I'm going to put in something else. But notice that IntelliSense tells us string text right here in bold. So what that means is this text right here, this direction right here, says the text to display in the message box. Well, you can probably guess what's going on here. It means this is the text that will display in the message box. How about that? <laughs> Awesome. And uh, we're going to type up the cool box after this comment. What this is, is this is the title of our message box. And as soon as I run this, I'll show you that I'm not kidding. 
It's true. It's real. There is a title. So I'm going to hit this green triangle to start debugging. And what, what comes up is our label right here. Bet you'll never click this in 100 years. And then the button says, don't click me. Well, you know what? You egg me on, so I'm clicking. Oh, and now I have to make me a sandwich. And since I'm the one who created this, or you created it, then you got to make yourself a sandwich. And uh, the title says, The Cool Box. So there's our title right there, as promised. And don't worry, you don't actually have to go make yourself a sandwich in real life if you don't want to. But uh, some peanut butter and jelly would be kind of nice right now. But I'm going to X out of this. There are other ways that you can get out of debugging mode, but let's just X out of it, just like that. And I want to show you guys one more thing. Let's go back to form1.cs design. And you see right here, uh, button one is selected. If we go over to properties, and if you don't already have properties open, you could up top here, you could go to view, other windows, and properties window, and it should come up. Um, we could change the event that we want to code. So see this lightning bolt right here, and events just popped up on my screen. I could click that lightning bolt, and then different stuff ha stuff comes up. We have the click and what happens on click. Well, we just program that. Uh, we could also make it so, uh, for example, when you do different things with the mouse, when the user does different things with their mouse, different stuff happens. And there are other stuff here, like resize, size change, text change, validated. What validated? Well, we'll talk about that someday. But right now, let's just change what happens when they hover over this button with their mouse. Now we could use button1.click and what happens with button1.click we could use here. So I'm going to just insert that and debug this. So mm, I'm going to hover over don't click me la 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 la. Ooh, now you have to make me a sandwich. So now that also applies to hovering. And if you want to code something else instead of have button1.click uh, button1 underscore click apply backspace and just hit enter there we go and button one underscore mouse hover now clears and what we code inside these two squiggly brackets will be what happens when the user hovers over the button with their mouse now i don't want to go on forever and ever i think we just went over some pretty cool stuff right now so if you like what you see feel free to subscribe slippery slip signing out peace everybody